everybody? Welcome to episode 13 of Bob's Garage. Today we're working on another coolant hose issue. And the problem I had today was, once again, uh, driving home from work, my upper radiator hose blew off. And this is uh, starting to become a problem. So I, you know, I was driving home. I had uh, the windows up, the air conditioning on, and I could smell a little bit of a coolant leak. And, you know, as I'm driving, it's like, oh, that's, that's not good. So, uh, you know, I was uh, just about to pull up to a stoplight, and my coolant hose blew out, and I could see some steam and, and stuff coming out of the engine bay. So I pulled over into a parking lot and raised up the hood, and, and uh, I thought the lower hose blew off, but nope, this was the upper radiator hose that blew off this time. So I... You know, was trying to figure out what to do. I did not have any more coolant in my trunk that I uh, carried around because uh, I used it all the last time that this happened with the lower radiator hose, which was probably about two weeks prior. Um, that's episode 12. And uh, so I was just, you know, pretty pissed. So I didn't want to wait. You know, I, I, I have free towing. I have AAA just in case, uh, you know, if I'm ever driving with a car, a friend's car that breaks down, any car that I'm in, AAA will tow for free. Um, so towing wasn't a problem. It's just, you know, waiting or wasting the time, I should say, getting it towed. So, you know, I was looking, and because it was the operator radiator hose, it's easier to see and, and, and get to and all that. I basically figured out that I should be able to pop it back on by hand. So um, I had to let the car cool down a little bit. You know, it's hot uh, coolant everywhere. So I raised up the hood to let the engine bay cool down. And I looked around and I was in a uh, parking lot that was right next to a grocery store. So I was like, well, you know, it's, it's still warm out. So, you know, it wasn't like winter or anything. So I'm like, you know what, I should be fine for... Uh, if I could just get some water. So I just walked right over to the to the grocery store, picked up a couple jugs of distilled water. By the time I walked back to the car, it had cooled down. I was able to actually pop the upper radiator hose back on. I made sure through positive feedback that that little clip, the little retaining clip, locked in this time. So when I, when I pushed the hose on extra hard, that clip actually like uh, locked on its own. So it should be fine. So at that point, I just uh, um, filled it up with distilled water and drove it home. So no problems after that. I don't quite understand these these uh, radiator hoses. They're really pissing me off. But um, I don't know. I look online and it doesn't seem like anyone else has problems like I do with these things. So maybe I'm just not uh, reinstalling them and fully seating them back onto the radiator. I don't know, but... We'll, uh, we'll see how this holds up for now. And uh, this happened, like I said, probably about two weeks after the last uh, episode. So that was episode uh, 12. So very odd. So I drove for a couple weeks without any issues, and then the hose popped off. So um, stay tuned for more.